chosen to elect a man with a timber toe to succeed me, you can all go to hell and I'll go to Texas. <laughs> well, I left Texas on the 1st of November in the company of my friends and neighbors and some brothers-in-law, and I want to explore Texas well before I return. I went through Arkansas and the Indian Territory and down the Trammel Trace to Nacogdoches where a dinner and a party of ladies honored me with, at my arrival and the cannon was fired and they had a, a nice dinner. And I took an oath of government there to enroll my name as a volunteer to serve Texas. For every man that enrolls is entitled to vote for a member of the consultation or be voted for. I've been in excellent health and high spirits ever since I got to Texas. From everything I've seen, Texas is the garden spot of the world. The best land and good mill streams and timber and bees and game aplenty. I hope to get the agency to settle the country on the Choctaw or the Bodark Bayou of the Red River that I have no doubt is the finest country in the world. It's in the past where the buffalo pass back and forth twice a year. I'm rejoiced at my fate. I'd rather be in my present circumstances in Texas than elected to a seat in Congress for life. We left Nacogdoches in the company of Captain Harrison and his mounted spy company, but they called us Crockett's Tennessee Mounted Volunteers. I guess some of that line of the West foolishness followed me to Texas. We arrived here and signed on with Colonel Bowie and Colonel Travis and they assigned us what I guess was the post of honor, that palisade that runs from the church out to the low barracks and the main gate out there, and that was our area to defend. And I was proud to join that garrison. You know, it's people from all walks of life, some native Tejanos that were born and grew up in Texas, and some like me that are newcomers. All, all shapes and sizes and colors and religion, but they all have the same thing in common. They don't like to be pushed around by a tyrant, and they don't want Santa Ana telling us what to do in Texas. Now, we've been able to get in some more help in and get people in and out a little bit, and I even snuck out a time or two to survey the countryside and try to bring some help in. But they keep getting closer and closer and closer, it seems like, and I told Mrs. Dickinson, if it's gonna be a fight, I'd just soon march out and die in the open. I don't like being hemmed in like that. But every man will do his duty, and I get a chance every so often to go around and talk to him. And uh, one of our men, uh, Mr. McGregor, a Scotsman, had a bagpipe, and we found an old fiddle, and we'll scrape out some music every so often and try to keep the men's spirits up, but um, we'll, uh, we'll do the best we can. And there's not much time for many more memorandums. We're all for liberty and independence. But as I told my family, don't be worried about me, for I'm among my friends. I bid you an affectionate farewell. <laughs>